To start off today's episode, we have a couple of Bricklink orders that came in. So I'm fairly certain that these are the ones that we ordered in the previous episode, and all of these parts should really help to finishing these cliffs, which I want to, and it's maybe a little bit of a lofty goal, but in this episode, I want to get this entire, I don't know what side this is, right side of the cliffs done. So this entire side should hopefully be finished, but we got some parts to open first. So I guess we'll start off with this brown box here. I believe this came all the way from the United Kingdom, so that's pretty cool. And if I'm not mistaken, it's just a bunch of the parts for actually finishing the back wall, so it's not actually to do with the cliffs. Yeah, so these parts are the jumper plates, and these are for doing the texturing of the bricks on the back wall, so we could also get into that in this episode. And it's actually kind of cool that this Bricklink seller used a resealed Lego bag, so it's kind of cool. Now these next two packages should all be slopes for the cliffs, and if they're not, then I will be very confused. <laughs> but let's take a look inside. Oh, they're not. Kind of. So actually, I remember why I ordered these. So we have a bunch of two by fours, and this is for just, you know, filler brick and that sort of thing. There are a couple of dark bluish gray slopes in this order, so that will help with filling out some of those little indent things that we have to do on the cliffs, but I guess it's mainly just filler brick there. Now, I believe this other package is actually part of the same order, so this should contain the rest of the slopes that I am currently missing. So, yeah, there we go. We have a bunch of dark bluish gray slopes, so again, those for the indent. And I think I have even more filler brick in here because I actually am kind of running out and obviously building up a mountain. You both need filler brick to fill it up this way, but also when we're building up the cliffs, there's a bunch of structure to support everything that I'm building. So it does use a lot of bricks. That was probably a little bit too long-winded with just opening up a few parts. But moving on, in this episode, again, I want to do a lot of work on the cliff. So it's probably going to be a mix of short time lapses and updates and that sort of thing. So I guess let's get right into it and build up these cliffs because they really need to get done. We now have another decent amount of progress done. I managed to fill out this entire area here and try to get some of this weird sloping under control. And I do quite like how it's coming out. We're creating this little bulge here and I gotta like round it off and then we'll do another little overhang at the top there. So that's looking pretty good, <laughs> but we are still barely halfway done the overall wall. I do have a couple of parts that should help us out. So in this package, I believe we are largely gonna be looking at rock work pieces as that's basically the only thing that I ordered from Bricklink. So if we can get this open here. We just have a little bit of green bubble wrap on the inside, but I do think I see a bunch of dark and light bluish gray slopes and plates and that sort of thing. Well, can confirm that this packaging is done quite well, so I'm not worried about any of these parts having any scratches or issues with them. So there you can see we have a couple of those smaller wedges, so that will help doing any of those sort of outcrops that we were working on before. So we got a couple of light bluish gray there, more light bluish gray. Next, we got a couple of these dark bluish gray slopes, and I think that's basically the entire Bricklink order here, and just a few more of those wedges in a slightly different shape. So that's the majority of this Bricklink order. Not too many parts, but it should definitely help us with building up this cliff. Now I do realize it's already been a week and I haven't uploaded a video, and to that, I'll laugh and say, you guys get a stream instead. One stream later, we did manage to get a decent section done over here. So this entire dark bluish gray section we did on stream, and that's looking pretty good so far. I think we also did a little bit over on this side. So I think I want to time lapse this upcoming bit and try and complete this little dark bluish gray section. 
So that's this little section of the rock right there. So it's going to be a little bit tricky to get those angles correct and get all of those weird kind of indents, but we can definitely try. And I think once when I do it once here, then for the other little sections that have that on the other side of the rock, uh, it'll be a lot easier because all will have already done it once. But I think this is going to look super cool with this little overhang coming and then we'll have like a little shelf there. So that should give this clip a little bit of depth and then we can also use like the shadows to our advantage to like create that depth there. So I think that will be really cool. Now before we jump into that time lapse, I was having a couple of audio issues before and it turns out uh, my dog ate through the audio cable so I was having so many issues trying to figure out what the heck was going on and the audio cable the main one I should say was just completely severed and so I found it and I'm like oh my gosh so I've got to fix this at some point but right now my audio system is working fine so I guess that's fine but now let's get into that building time lapse <laughs> completed the majority of the cliffs on this side. Now I know there's still this little bit of a strip up here where there isn't any of the rock texture, but I'm going to get into that in just a little bit. This section of rock did take quite a long time, but I am quite pleased at how it came out. I especially like the little indent that we managed to pull out here. And um, yeah, it's not complete. It's just got a flat wall on that one side, but we'll work on that in the next episode. But otherwise, the majority of this cliff face is looking pretty darn good. I like how kind of the sloping and shaping is going on here. I even managed to fit in a couple of these little kind of flat sections. So that seems to be pretty good. So it's always cool to get different sorts of angles in there by putting on the bricks different ways. Everything just lines up to create kind of these nice angles. Now it may look a little bit weird with just these small little patches of green, but again, and I know I should stop mentioning this, but it's all going to be covered in vines and leaves. So those little green patches will be kind of covered up and like muddled in the mess that will be the rest of the vine. Now, in terms of this top strip that I didn't get done here, at this point on the photo, everything starts to kind of flatten off and go upwards. So what I'm just worried of, because obviously my photo here just has the rock and none of the actual housing that we have to put in place, I just want to check out the Minecraft server just to make sure and like check out the layout of all of the houses. So basically, I'm going to go on to there and check out how all the houses are laid out and then we can kind of like plan from there and build from there. Now I know it's great and all that we finished this one side mostly, but again, we still have like this side, the back side, and then that entire side over there. So we also have that entire section to do, but not to worry. 90% of all the work completed in this video was done today. So I'm finally off of school. I can basically just focus on Lego. So that is what I'll be doing in the next couple of days. And you'll see that live streams will become a lot more consistent and so should videos. Now before we jump on to the Minecraft server, I would also like to point out that I tried to incorporate these kind of uh, bands or kind of strips of rock that go back and forth along the cliff face. So I tried to include, there's kind of one that you can subtly see there and then there's a more predominant one up here. And I think that just kind of gives a nice layering to the rock, kind of how it, what would happen if you did have kind of an erosion going on there you'd have like those different layers so I think I captured that decently well so yeah it's looking pretty darn good 
But let's go and jump on to the Minecraft server. So here we are on the Season 8 Hermitcraft server, and with my new computer, it's actually reasonably smooth, so I can actually kind of play at a consistent rate, and it's not too terrible. So I think what I'm going to do is just head over to Mumbo's base and try and get kind of a top-down view to see where all the houses are kind of laid out and where all the pathways kind of meet and intersect. So I guess actually when looking at it from above you can see there's not a whole lot of width to this thing uh, I was kind of thinking in my Lego build that there wasn't going to be enough space but I don't think that's a problem it's just really crowded up there so yeah I think we can fit in all these houses fairly decently I'm really excited to get to the design of the bridge I have a very cool idea for that so I think that's gonna look really cool in Lego but yeah I guess most of the houses are kind of crammed in there and actually a lot of them are just kind of sitting on the cliff face here so this section is going to be a little bit tricky to figure out but again we don't have to worry about that until we have this entire area done on both sides and just double checking i don't think there's anything too fancy around the back or the side so we don't really have to worry about any of this we can basically just chop it all off and not care about it now i think in the end i think we kind of have to i did the back lol put that on the back of the lego thing i think that could be quite funny but We'll see if I can make that work because I know letters can kind of be a little bit of an issue in Lego. But I suppose this entire structure at the top here is kind of end game stuff so we don't have to worry about that at all. We should be focused down here at the houses. So yeah, a lot of them kind of use these nice colors. I think a lot of them I can design fairly quickly and fairly easily. It's just trying to figure out where each of them go. So right now in the Lego, I'm about up to this point here so we have this little bulge to build and do a little bit of stuff there but yeah it shouldn't be too difficult because it is really handy having the entire base here that i can just travel around and look at every single one of the little details so that is one advantage of having the hermitcraft season 8 already over but I know, I do have to catch up with this build so we can start working on bigger and greater things in the Season 9. One thing I am noticing is that that entire kind of dark patch that we built, I think is this little indent here. I think that's in this area, so I guess a lot of it actually gets covered up by leaves and vines, so I gotta remember that. Everything gets covered up by all this shrubbery, so it kind of gets difficult to see all the little details. And one thing I gotta keep in mind is I've gotta fit in this rope bridge in here somewhere, so that may be slightly difficult. So I think that's about gonna do it for this video. This layout doesn't look too difficult to figure out. I should be able to get this done within the next couple of days. So I'm quite excited with the amount of progress that we should be able to make. But I think with that said, Gigahertz Productions, out. <laughs>